Hey, so I'm Bruce Garber from BruceKGarber.tv. You can also follow me at BruceKGarber.com and at BruceKGarber on Twitter. So we're missing our friend Dr. Jones from Media Disconnect today for a very good reason. He had baby, twin babies this morning. So congratulations, Jim. Um, so what do I do? The, some of the new things that are going on is that I've been working at the local public asset access TV station for the past six or so years, and every Monday night we go live with the first and only live karaoke TV show in New England. It's called Curtain Call. And about a month or so ago, we started doing an experiment. How can we start streaming this live? Well, that's the easy part. We started streaming it live. And what's the experiment part? Well, we're trying to get the social media aspect. We're trying to get people to chat into the control room while the show's going live and try to get that interaction. And slowly over the past few weeks, it's, it's been growing. So if you're interested in karaoke singing some live performances by some of the local people in the southern New England area, you can follow Curtain Call TV 15 on Facebook and also at Curtain Call TV 15 on Twitter. Well, once again, you can hook up with me at BruceKGarber.tv and all the links are there to the show. So it's a lot of fun and we hope to see you online starting tomorrow night, hopefully. Next is Mega TweetUp. What's Mega TweetUp? Mega TweetUp is a, one of the largest tweetups in at least the greater Boston area. And that was held at the Microsoft Nerd Center this past Thursday night. Joslyn Maine, who is the host of that show and the creator of Boston TweetUp, reached out to me and asked if I'd like to stream that show live this, this past year. And I did. It was a great fun. We streamed all four hours of the show. It was a great time. Some people stopped by, some friends and new friends alike, and we were able to do some impromptu type interviews. And pretty much what we're doing here at Southern New England Media Makers is just find out what people are doing and sharing their experiences and knowledges. So you can go, you know, once again to the site, BruceKGarber.tv, and we can link you up there with, with Mega TweetUp. And I mentioned Southern New England Media Makers. What is Southern New England Media Makers? Well, Southern New England Media Makers is a group of people like us that have very similar interests. We have people that are interested in television, people interested in video, people that have podcasts, audio, producing, directing, camera work, whether it be at a higher level professional area or so just some handheld type devices like what we're doing right now. You'll be surprised at the type of equipment we're recording this little video with. It's a pocket camera with a little, a little uh, clip-on microphone. High definition widescreen. You can't get any better than that. And we sit around over breakfast the third Sunday of every month and we talk about what are we doing now? What type of new tools are you using? How are you getting your message out there? What type of content are you providing? And just sharing our experiences and knowledge so we can all grow and get better at what we do. If you're interested in visiting us at Southern New England Media Makers, you can go to snemm.eventbrite.com and we'll link, you, we'll link you up with all the directions and information about what we do every month. As well as follow us on Twitter at S-N-E-M-M. -M. And what we're trying to do in a nutshell is pull in people from Southern Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and Northern Connecticut. So if you're interested in connecting with people with similar interests, Southern New England Media Makers is for you. We hope to see you at a meeting real soon. All right, I'm uh, Jeff Glasson, at Jeff Glasson on Twitter, and by day I am the Director of Technology and Digital Content Production for Perquette PR. I've uh, been there for about three years, started out as Director of Social Media, but have kind of elevated that portion of the business up to the point where um, almost everyone in, within the company is kind of uh, at the same level as I was when I first started out. So basically started working myself out of a job, uh, but <laughs> re reinvented the, uh, the, the, that portion of the business. We get a lot of uh, requests for digital content, anything from just straight out video production um, and editing to uh, microsites, to blogs, to motion graphics, uh, green screen work, anything like that. I can handle that, that end, of the, end of the business now. Um, and we do uh, basically PR for the tech industry, anything from startup companies all the way through enterprise. 
um, and we're a virtual company. So we're about 20 people right now, uh, nationwide, East Coast, Midwest, and West Coast. Um, so everybody works out of their homes. It's all senior staff. Um, so all the clients get uh, senior level talent. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so that's the day job. By nighttime, I'm Batman. No, no, seriously. Uh, uh, I actually do a lot of hobby stuff. Uh, one of my things at JeffGlassen.com, which is a poster site, is that uh, I have more hobbies than a man has a right to have. So, <coughs> and pretty much, uh, I wish my hobbies could be my full-time job, uh, but maybe someday. Anyway, the, the core hobby right now is die-cast car collecting, which is kind of a unique niche. I do a lot of things uh, social media-wise in that. I have a website called DieCastAudio.com, which has been running since about 2005. Uh, I did a podcast for the hobby uh, for a few years. That kind of rolled into a partnership with another website called Diecast Space, uh, which uh, I, I did a live show called Saturday Nitro, where I interview people uh, in a live format. Um, got to talk to people like uh, Larry Wood, who is actually the uh, lead Hot Wheels designer for Mattel for 40 years. He just recently retired. Um, and one interesting fact about him is he, he's actually, through his career, designed more vehicles than any car manufacturer or all across all the car manufacturers major car manufacturers combined. So take Honda, GM, Ford, all those guys, he's designed more cars than them in, in his 40 year career, it's pretty crazy. Although his cars are this big, so. <laughs> um, so diecastaudio.com, I'm hopefully in the beginning of 2011, I'll be launching diecastvideo.com, which is gonna be uh, basically an aggregation of diecast uh, oriented videos from all the uh, video distribution sites that are currently out there. Something that frustrates me as a as a hobbyist in that in that niche is that if I go to YouTube and type in Hot Wheels, I'll get videos that have nothing to do with Hot Wheels because someone's just tagged them improperly or is talking about their real one to one scale car. And so as a hobbyist, I want to be able to focus in just on the content that I want. So I'm going to aggregate the videos there and, and break them down by category and by scale and stuff so people can see exactly uh, what they're looking for. Um, and then Saturday Nitro is, is actually being reinvented. It was originally, like I said, a live audio broadcast. It's going to be uh, done now as a video uh, show. So lots of things changing. And uh, hit me up at, at Jeff Glasson on Twitter and uh, jeffglasson.com for my hobby interest stuff and getpr.com for uh, anything PR related. My name is Amanda MacArthur. Um, I am from buzzfarmers.com and amanda.com, and basically I'm a blogger, SEO junkie, and social media junkie. Uh, I do a lot of speaking, and I do a lot of social media and SEO work. And what am I doing right now? Getting ready to go to Affiliate Summit in Vegas pretty soon, thanks to Ben Spark right here, at Ben Spark. Uh, it's not his real name, I know that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and that's pretty much about it. I work with all the clients, and that's pretty much all I have to share this morning. <laughs> so, um, what are you looking forward to at uh, Affiliate Summit? Uh, everything. It's the first conference that I'm going to where I actually don't already know everything. So, I'm actually really excited that like I know nothing about affiliate marketing, and I really want to get into it. So. one person that, did you, you know, like different people coming, uh, who's somebody that you want to um, catch up with and meet there? Um, you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, I know Chris Brogan's going to be there, but I'm not sure he's going to be there on the day I'm there. Okay. Of course, I've met and hung out with him, too, so I don't know. All right. I'm, just, I'm just looking forward to hanging out with people. Awesome. Good morning, Steve Sherlock here, at Sure Steve, in most of the social media places, uh, savvy project manager, customer service advocate, and social media practitioner. Uh, major things going, uh, other than through uh, Steve's two cents, where I continue to keep current with the good experiences that I find and share. Job search jam sessions, Sounds like it's going to become a quarterly event. What I do is I take the unconference model and bring it to the unemployed and underemployed. We've had two events so far, about 70 people in each. It looks like we'll do another one in February, March, and until the economy really turns around, probably on a quarterly basis thereafter.
We'll work with Sarah Nicole uh, to do a new newbie camp sometime in February at this point. That's the target date. Uh, Western Mass, uh, Pipe Camp Western Mass, their date settled in February 5th. So we'll work around that so I can get out there to Westfield State. Uh, Franklin Matters, which is my other major issue, uh, major item, time concern. I do, I just completed about 65 meetings for the town this year. Town Council, school committee meetings, reported on them live. I think I've got one more tomorrow night for the planning board, and then it'll be a quiet period <laughs> as we get into the new year and then start over again. Um, the other thing I'm doing is uh, I've given myself the title of Community Information Director. I've joined the Franklin Food Pantry Board of Directors, and I'll be working with them to do their redo their uh, website and then get them into the social media world so that all the good work that they're doing, we can continue to spread the word on and uh, build awareness as well as uh, in create a sustainable source of income so they continue to do some good work. So, and of course, events like these um, where you can learn, share, find out what's going on, make good connections, and uh, eat in the meantime. <laughs> it's always a good thing to do, especially on a Sunday morning. So that's about it for today. Hi everybody, it's Patrick Hughes here from Visual Post and BuzzFarmers.com. Uh, me and Amanda are co-founders of Buzz Farmers. We do everything from social media campaigns to SEO work to audience development for companies. Uh, lately, we, we actually just book, uh, booked our first consultancy in New Jersey, so we're going to be going down to New Jersey for a half day. And let me tell you, consultancy is where it's at. Let me tell you, great money. And it's a great company, and so we're going to be teaching, you know, everything about Twitter and Facebook and web video, and um, yeah, just been uh, you know creating promo videos and visual posts for companies uh, that we're trying to get in for the new year, and we're excited to uh, go to Affiliate Summit Marketing West. I think I said that right. Uh, thanks to Drew, and just as Amanda said, I'm excited to learn more about affiliate marketing because together we have so many ideas that we really think um, you know, affiliate marketing can fit into those different niches that we're trying to target. Thank you. Cool. Um, when you go to Affiliate Summit, you guys are going and getting in a bit early. Are you going to yes. try to get to CES at all? Uh, I didn't realize the CES is going to be out there that week. but I that think it starts the 6th. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, maybe we should try to get um, yeah. out to CES. <laughs> uh, what's one thing that you really want to take away from uh, Affiliate Summit? Uh, m m you know, making connections with those industry insiders at Affiliate Summit Marketing West, uh, it's just, you know, it's like we, we have some ideas for some products that could really fit into the affiliate realm, so, uh, you know, knowing, you know, knowing those people and getting connected and, you know, knowing how affiliate marketing works is, is great. Great. <laughs> Um, I'm Kyle McNaught. I work with the Pulse Network. Um, I'm a producer for the Pulse Network. That's why you don't get to see my beautiful face all the time. I just try to jump on as much as I can. Um, I'm not going to Affiliates and Summit, so I can't throw that out there. I'm not as busy as you. Uh, I produce a ton of shows for them, like LewisHouse.com on TPN, SteveGarfield.tv, um, Fitterella on TV, uh, the, Pulse on Net, uh, the Pulse on Campus, uh, also TPN Following, Maggie Ruley and TPN Finance with Mike Nahas. Um, other than that, really, it's just producing as much as I can. Like uh, Monday, tomorrow, we're, the Pulse on Campus would be kind of cool. We're going to have my brother Skype him. He plays uh, football for the Air Force Academy. So he's going to Skype in and talk about like what happens at a bowl game, like all the swag you get, what, what do you do, like all that stuff. But also, like uh, the other day, Friday, we unveiled like a video of, um, we have student videos, and like this kid from Texas film for us and like he went to the basketball game was showing all the cheers that they do and then he went to a party afterwards so they're showing like after they win a basketball game how crazy they were going after so that's cool we had stuff like uh the coolest thing is we have an Oregon kid kid goes to the University of Oregon so he's going to go to the BCS national championship game and he's had a video camera the all season long that we've been just showing like what it's like to be going to school while you like teams winning like national like going to a national championship so past that that's about it so what, um, for the Pulse Network, 
Yeah. Um, how long has PulseNet Group been around? Hey, it's <laughs> good question. Um, I've been there for since June, and I know they were started probably May or March. I'm not really entirely sure, but it's kind of in the beta. We officially came out in September, I believe, from beta. But in the same sense, we're still we're still working on. It. We're hoping to unveil a new uh, like a whole website design, like completely read drastically, like change our thing in January. But it's all a work in progress. And I mean, we've been around since May, I would say. Okay. Um, did you when you started uh, talking about the um, the Pulse Network? It's, it's it's live feed. Live live programming. So it's yeah. TV radio is what we consider it. It's TV in the sense that we're visual and we're putting out like a show, like a produced show where we're pulling up stuff, bringing all that. But it's also radio in the sense that when Steve's show starts, like Steve Garfield, I know where we want to go. I've got the elements, but I don't know what Steve's going to say. I'm not sure what I'm going to have to throw up. And I don't know why my phone's ringing right now either. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's that sense. So we are live. We're Monday through Friday, 9 to 4. But then we do other stuff off off-site shooting that we bring onto things like um, Maggie and Tyler on the water cooler did that McRib video that everyone loves, but that was like an off-site thing that they did. I did a dancing video when we went around, but uh, it's a lot of, it's live programming Monday through Friday, 9 to 4, but we are possibly going more longer soon. Uh, where are the different places that we, we can find the Pulse Network? Uh, the Pulse Network .com. Um, Twitter, we're at the Pulse. I'm at Kyle McNaught. Um, I mean, all the hosts, every single one of us has a Twitter handle. So Maggie Ruley is at Maggie Ruley. Tyler Pyburn's at Ty Pyburn. Phil DiMartino, the other producer, is at Phil DiMartino, I believe. It might be 13 or something like that, but not entirely sure because he's been a jerk on Twitter, so I haven't been trying to follow him as much. Uh, <laughs> past that, I mean, you follow. You, we really want you to go to the PulseNetwork.com to see us stuff. You can see every live Monday through Friday and then on demand everywhere. You can search everything. Check out the Pulse on campus. It's one of the best shows. Craziness. <laughs> All right. Uh, so everybody, I'm True Ben. I think most of you know me. We just met. So, um, and I'm from BenSpark.com. And one of the things that uh, I do there is uh, I take a photograph every day, and I'm still doing that, going strong on that. Uh, 2,080 days straight. So five plus years. Uh, also, um, I'm part of Geek Dads Weekly, which is a podcast that uh, that I do. Um, we uh, today we're supposed to be discussing. Um, dads on TV and how dads are portrayed on TV. Um, you know, what are, I think we asked people in a poll for uh, who are the, the best and worst TV dads and movie dads, uh, that sort of thing. We're supposed to discuss that, but I think my co-host might not be on tonight, so if I'm, I'm going to try to do a solo show maybe, um, so we'll see. Uh, also, I just started a new show, a new podcast with uh, four other guys, and it's called uh, Road to Finn, and uh, so basically... We're uh, five guys who need to lose 50 to 75 pounds to get into a healthy weight. Um, and so we're trying to support each other through a, a website called RoadToThin.com and a podcast, uh, which is uh, Road to Thin, if you find that on, uh, on iTunes. Um, we also have a Facebook page. And uh, I invited all my friends to the Facebook page yesterday, but um, we'll see if anybody um, signs up for that. But it, it is a thing where we're getting some experts on. Our next show, uh, we, we just put up a show yesterday. About um, we've got two shows up so far, and um, we're putting out a show on the first of January, kind of our goal setting one. I mean, what other cliche time of the year to do that? Um, and then we are uh, we're having on a, a very special guest. Um, her name is Kim Ann Curtin. She is a coach. She goes by the Wall Street Coach, but she also does coaching for weight loss and goal setting. And so she's going to help us out for goal setting that day. Um, and I'll be going off to uh, Affiliate Summit West um, before we meet again. And that is uh, in Las Vegas. I'll be part of a group called Affiliate Improv, where we'll, uh, four, five people, we're getting together. We're all from different parts of affiliate marketing. I'm mostly like content. So uh, we'll be talking about different ways in which people can create content around a product or a niche so that they can create a new site. So people, you know, shout out, you know, whatever the product is, and we'll try to build a campaign around it in the session. Um, and I'm only there for 24 hours because as soon as my session's over, I fly out to Detroit for um, the International uh, Car Show. 
um, where I'm, I'm going out as a, a guest of GM to be a, a blogger there. So uh, that's what's coming up. <laughs> and so, yeah, that's uh, what's going on with me. So. And Ben, if somebody wants to follow you, what's the best ways to do that? The uh, best way to do that is uh, benspark.com or on Twitter on BenSpark, uh, Facebook on BenSpark, pretty much everywhere. So, yep. No S at the end. Ben Spark. <laughs> Everyone gets that. Um, so. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's where you find me. So, and If people want to learn more about us and, and, and connect with us at Southern New England, what's the best way they can do that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Uh, quiz, trick, time. quiz time. Uh, let's see. Um, that would be Southern New England Media Makers. Uh, do a search for that on Google. What the website is Southern New S England S Media Makers? Oh, yeah. S N E M M. Dot eventbrite.com. Dot eventbrite.com. Okay, and uh, our Twitter is. Do we have a Twitter? S N E M M. S E S N E M M. Yeah, that, the hashtag. <laughs> I used them. I just. I didn't know there was going to be a quiz. <laughs>